Democrats and Democratic-leaning voters also made themselves seen and heard at the president's campaign rally. And some of them drove from our region. Local 22's Mike Hoey has more. So many of the people that have gathered at the corner of Elm and Granite Streets in Manchester are either wearing or holding items that have obscenities on them that it's actually made it difficult to shoot video of what's gone on. However, much of what we've been able to hear speaks for itself. Several hundred people spent hours Thursday afternoon and into the early evening protesting outside Southern New Hampshire University Arena. I'm originally from New Hampshire and I feel like part of the reason I moved to Burlington was so I could like feel safe and have rights and I wish that was for every state in the United States. Besides enjoying a homecoming of sorts, Ryan also had the workplace in mind. Um, I also work at an after school program and just like when you think of the president as like someone that kids usually look up to or like form their opinions about the world, it's scary to think of like the things that he says and does and how that affects kids. For one key New Hampshire area protester, it's not the idea of people supporting President Trump and coming out to listen to him that troubles him. The thing that really bothers me the most are the signs I see that say things like women for Trump, which I have a very hard time comprehending how any woman could possibly, possibly be in favor of this man. They've been the exception rather than the norm, but Rich Block says some people passing him by have made threats against him. To me, that maybe is indicative of the fact that Trump, to me, has been encouraging bullying and bigotry and um, closed mindedness. Now, with regard to those threats that Rich mentioned, no one made any of them while I was anywhere within earshot of him. However, at a different point in time, when I was shooting some of the video of other protesters that you've seen here, one man passing by walked up to me, looked me in the eye, and said to me unsolicited, You're all a bunch of communists. Not true. At Southern New Hampshire University Arena in Manchester, Mike Coey, Local 22 News. Wow, thank you for that one, Mike. And he also told us that almost all of the interactions that he witnessed between Trump supporters and protesters were either pleasant, brief, or both.